Hundreds from the Shia Muslim community rallied through the streets of Windsor in their annual procession, which marks the 40th day after the martyrdom of Imam Hussein, the grandson of Prophet Muhammad. The participants carried flags, banners, and chanted slogans in relation to the event. A man dressed in green, followed by children, a lady in black, and guards leading them. They represent the family of Hussein, who were taken as captives after he was slaughtered in the battlefield. During those years, the Muslims were ruled by a brutal tyrant and dictator by the name of Yazid. He took the lives of many innocent people and did not hesitate in doing so. With that, the grandson of the Prophet decided to take a stand against him, and therefore, Imam Hussein is considered to be the greatest Muslim of his time and a symbol for justice. When we commemorate uh, the martyrdom anniversary of Imam Hussein, we're saying that we're standing by the values uh, and teachings that Imam Hussein stood for. The values of peace, justice, uh, love, human rights. Walking with empty hands, searching your holy land. Labbaik ya Hussein. Labbaik hadha nida, ya Sayyid al Awfiya. Man fi al Ardi wa al Sama, yamshi ila Karbala. وانا بطريقك مجنونك يحملني هواك كل خطوة تكتبها دموعي يا حسين هواك وانا بطريقك مجنونك يحملني هواك كل خطوة تكتبها دموعي يا حسين هواك مشى يا جيت وما خذني شوق وقاص الضريحك أوصل وطوف أقسم عليك بدمعة رقية وخدر العقيلة وراعي الجفوف لبيك يا Wondering hard, don't waver. Walking up to your savior. Wondering hard, don't waver. Walking up to your savior. As you're visiting, he who stood firmly on the plains. Where is Yazid gone? Come to see now. Where is Hussein? As you're visiting, he who stood firmly on the plains. Where is Yazid gone? Come to see now. Where is Hussein? Leave all your world behind. Let your sight be blind. Traveler, your soul leads the way. Listen to He who calls. Let the tears free fall and your pains will all fade away. Labbaik ya Hussein. Today we are commemorating the 40th anniversary of the martyrdom of Imam Hussein alayhi salam. In doing so, we are uh, passing out hot chocolate in remembrance of him, as well as waiting for the procession to walk by so we can hand out the chocolate to them as well. The purpose of today is to spread the message of who Imam Hussein is and what he died for and the message he was trying to spread to his people, as well as the message that we want to spread to the community of Windsor of who we are and what we stand for. <laughs> Thank you.
انت الهداية وروح الرسالة مو بس عواطف عقلي يشوف لبيك يا حسين up to you we came بين الحرمين calling out your name لبيك يا حسين up to you we came بين الحرمين calling out your name يا حسين let the world turn against me يا حسين let the people resent me يا حسين all the looks won't affect me يا حسين if you took one look at me many they came to ask for what people ask and I'm asking you for nothing I came to give my hand and to kiss your sand and to tell you thank you my king لبيك يا حسين up to you we came بين الحرمين calling out your name لبيك يا حسين up to you we came بين الحرمين calling out Imam Hussein has been narrated to have said, I have not risen to cause mischief and oppression or out of arrogance. However, the sole purpose behind my uprise is to reform the nation of my grandfather. I want to enjoy good and forbid evil and to follow the footsteps of my grandfather and father Ali. By looking at the state of the Muslims today, one sees a group of Muslims that spreads mischief and kills and beheads innocent human beings, mutilates the bodies of people and rejoices when doing such actions. These are the deeds like of the ones of like ISIS and its likes, whereas we have another group that spreads morality, peace, respect and harmony. The, they coexist with others and play a positive role in society following the footsteps of their dear Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. Due to this, non-Muslims might stand confused, not knowing who truly represents the religion of Islam. In reality, this diversity hasn't started in our era. In fact, it can be seen clearly existing between Muslims ever since the, the era of the holy Imams and the successors of the, of the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him. Especially the era of the third Imam, Imam al Hussein, son of Ali, peace and blessings be upon them both. By performing his divine uprise, Imam Hussein was able to show the Muslims the true face of Islam. And who were the true Muslims when he rose against the tyrant of his time named Yazid? This man killed the innocent, destroyed the sanctified, and hijacked this beautiful religion. In fighting this individual, Imam Hussein exemplified the true understanding of Islam and the true meaning of humanity. When one reads that Imam Hussein says, do you not see that one is following the truth and that falsehood is being followed Yet no one is speaking a word against it or how he favors to die over living with oppressors and oppressing human beings when he says, I see death as nothing but happiness, yet I can't tolerate life alongside the oppressors. They are able to see the real Islam, the Islam of Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. He is he's also able to see that the acts of terrorism we see around the world in the name of Islam didn't start in our day and age. But in reality, it has its roots in the era of our Imams. The ones that massacred Imam al Hussein, his family members and companions, and violated the sanctity of his women and children, are the ones that taught ISIS and its likes how to spread terrorism. The ones that beheaded Imam Hussein and his supporters and carried their heads on top of spears are the same ones that fight ISIS and its like to behead innocent human beings. To every era there is a Yazid. And in every era there are people who stand for freedom and name of Hussein. The tyranny that lives on today will be dismantled by the Hussein that lives in each and every one of us. And in every free human being carrying the message of love, peace and righteousness. Thus we salute the martyr of this nation. 
Thus we salute the martyr of this nation, the martyr of peace, the martyr of justice, Hussein son of Ali. And we say, peace be upon Hussein. Peace be upon Ali, son of Hussein. Peace be upon the children of Hussein. And peace be upon the companions of Hussein.